This episode is not sponsored by Skillshare or Squarespace. Have you ever wondered what happens if you use a developer not intended for the type of film you're developing? This is what keeps me up at night. I was tired of not being able to sleep, so I decided to start cross-processing film. I wanted to start this series off with a bang, so I thought developing Ilford XP2 Super, a black and white C41 film in Xtal, was a good place to start. Why Xtal? Xtal has been my favorite black and white developer since learning to develop at home. It produces razor sharp, fine grain images. Why develop XP2 Super in black and white chemistry instead of C41? I wanted to know if I could get usable images by not following the directions. As we'll see, film is very resilient and usable images were produced. Let's get into it. This photo walk started off overcast. Not my favorite condition for shooting black and white. It seems like most photos taken in this lighting come out really flat, even with adding contrast in post. With that being said, I was in for a pleasant surprise. There was plenty of contrast for such flat light. I have a few thoughts as to why. One, by design, XP2 is contrasty. Two, cross-processing can cause changes in a film's density and color. Three, the elephant in the room, development time. I consulted the massive dev chart and couldn't find a time for developing XP2 in stock XTAL. The only time listed was for developing with a one-to-one -one dilution ratio. Dilutions are a whole other video, so to keep it short, developing diluted means using less developer and extending development time. I'm currently running replenished XTAL, also another video, so diluting wasn't going to work for me. Back to the developing time issue. You may be asking yourself, how'd you come up with a developing time if one wasn't available? The answer, I guessed. I looked at developing times for other Ilford 400 speed films, HP5, Kentmere 400, and decided an eight minute developing time at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, was a good place to start. This eight minute guess actually worked and could be adjusted to add or reduce the level of contrast. I started off at one of my favorite spots in Salt Lake to photo, the Granary District. It's full of old buildings, for now, murals, and ghost signs. Shout out to The Fear Factory, Dave and Sean at House of Guitars, and my boys Kenny and Berkeley at Picture Line. I'm a big fan of texture. You'll see that theme in these images. A word on shooting 6x6 or square format. I love it. It takes a little practice, but once you figure it out, it's just as easy to compose as 2x3. This photo of the rest area is my favorite on the roll. A couch on the sidewalk with the old buildings in the background checks a lot of boxes for me. This is one of my favorite buildings downtown. I love the color and I love the brickwork. The mural painted by Trent Call is the cherry on top. It looks so good in black and white. Now 
Notice the bump in contrast in the images when the sun came out from behind the clouds. With the exception of green, these images share a lot of characteristics with pushed photos. I was really hoping the detail on the pylon was visible in this shot. Despite correct metering, it was lost in the contrast. Side note, I shot two identical rolls of XP2 on this adventure, the other to be developed in ECN2. I've seen the negatives of this shot developed in ECN2, and here's a little spoiler. There's full detail on this pylon. More on this a little later. This mural is fantastic. I definitely need to reshoot this location in color to do it justice. This pic really shows off how well Xtal refines grain and retains sharpness. I have massive appreciation for artists that draw, paint, or sculpt, especially when it comes to walls, or in this case, sides of buildings. How artists create something this big is beyond me. Side note, I was just researching Kipto's other work. He's freehanding most of these projects. His skill level is insane. Next, we have another mural. And this one has a special place in my heart. I'm a sucker for Indian motorcycles. Also history and aesthetically appealing logos. Q Indian motorcycle. I saw the movie, The World's Fastest Indian when I was a kid and have been a sucker for Indian motorcycles ever since. No, I don't own one yet, one day. So what did we learn from all of this? We can get usable images developing XP2 Super in XTAL. It looks really good. Oh, we just lost the light. We just lost the light. But we're almost done recording, so we're going to make this happen. We can get usable images developing XP2 Super in XTAL. It looks good. Contrasty, even in flat light. Developing time may need some adjustment. And it is possible to take street photos without human subjects. Most importantly, we had fun getting out and shooting. I mentioned earlier about developing a second identical role of XP2 in ECN2 on this adventure. Spoiler alert, it I am very sunburned.